Alright, so today we're going to be installing a Hungry Diesel HVLP lift pump on this first gen Cummins. This is a 91 and a half intercooled truck. Uh, I have the cylinder head off right now. You don't you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to take the head off to do this. But um the the first thing we're gonna want to do before we this is the, the lift pump here. First thing we're gonna want to do is just get some degreaser on there and scrub it down with a little brush and just clean all that all that gunk off of there so that it doesn't um, go into the engine when we take the lift pump off. So we're gonna I'm gonna clean that up now. Then I'll I'll get back to you guys. All right, so we got it cleaned off uh, a little bit. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just take um, this hard line off here. And it, well, first you're actually you're gonna have to take the banjo bolt out. So there's a banjo bolt that goes out to the um, filter thing on the cylinder head there. Um, I already had mine out just because I have the head off, obviously. But you gotta take that banjo bolt out, and then there's two washers on there. Those washers, uh, there's new ones with the kit. So we take that line out and it's just this this piece here just spins off and you take it out and then my fuel feed line um, was just this this fuel hose here with a little fuel injector clamp on it going on to that barb so I, I don't take that whole thing off because I, I'll just do that while I have the pump out of the truck so I take this off take that off and then right there where my ratchet's on there's a 10 millimeter bolt and on the other side it's kind of hard to film it it's about right where my finger is there's another 10 millimeter so you take those two 10 millimeter bolts out and then we take the pump off and there's a little cam on the back of the pump that you have to be cognizant of all right we have the pump out now so here's the old pump next to the new pump so you can see this one's driven by this cam here off of the uh, camshaft of the engine and it uses a diaphragm in here to pump the fuel and this is the new one we're going to be using so this one's a piston driven lift pump so these are seen on some of the other Cummins engines now with the VE pump and the first gens a lot of these will put out too much pressure for the VE pump so you get the one from Hungry Diesel and it's already uh, has the springs in it set for the correct pressure so you don't blow seals out and all sorts of garbage you don't want to deal with so the reason you want to go with one of these is that it's um, a little bit more reliable than the diaphragm pump and it has a uh, higher flow so it can support more horsepower now when these ones leak they leak internally and you'll get fuel going into your engine oil versus these tend to leak externally which is uh, a little bit better. Now these could leak externally if the gasket's shot, like the gasket on, on mine was shot, so it was leaking engine oil everywhere. So after I have it out, you wanna clean up that mating surface there. So I use one of these. This is a carbide scraper from Lyle. Uh, these are a little bit expensive, but they're the, the way to go for sure. Um, you can just use a razor blade too. I wouldn't use a rotary tool on this. So you just want to get in there and just clean up that gasket surface and get it, it nice and clean so you don't have any uh, sealing issues and leaks with your new pump. All right, here we are. So you can see it's nice and clean, the scraper. So um, you're going to want to put a little piece of paper towel in there while you're cleaning it just to keep stuff out of the engine. Um, but uh Here's our new pump. So this will have a spacer on it too. This is going to go in here like that. And you can see that it hits right there. So one thing that we'll have to do is just trim this piece of the insulation off there. Like that. You can use an X-Acto knife for that or whatever you want. I'm just going to use a, a folding uh, box cutter there. So you want to put your paper towel in there and then trim that out. Sorry about the camera work guys, it's, I don't have a tripod and I'm doing all this standing on the tire of the truck there. She's got a little bit of a lift on her so it's it's a bit hard. <laughs> Alright, well, project's getting put on hold because uh went a nice Canadian winter and it's starting to snow and I don't want snow going all over uh, 
this well they don't have a cylinder head on it but you can see that's where I, I cut that off so that the line can go um, I used just this little Milwaukee cut off tool here you can use one of those or you can use a exacto knife the exacto knife wasn't killing it for me so I just cheated with that and uh, see the line goes through there there is a a hose and some stuff behind this so if you're using a rotary tool just be careful you don't blast this whole thing apart here because then you'll just want to make more problems don't do that when i put this on um, i put a thin smear of rtv on the gaskets very thin amount of rtv and um, that worked fine i put a really small bit of blue loctite on the bolts too and then um Here's our fuel inlet, so we'll we'll mess with that next time, getting that set up. I'm having a real hard time getting the fitting off the old pump. Uh, I was hoping to save the old pump as a spare in case anything happened, but I think I dicked it trying to get the thing off. So we'll fight that some other day. I won't be able to show you hooking this up because um, I don't have a cylinder head. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at. So you guys... Uh, I'm going to go have a beer and clean all my stuff up. Try and protect this with a little bit of oil for the snow. And then I'll see you guys in the second half.